If works great for building applets that execute actions when a single trigger condition is met. But what happens when you don't want to execute that action immediately? What happens when you want to wait a little bit and then execute the action? For that, if introduces delays. Now you can put a delay or a short wait in between your triggers and your actions to unlock all sorts of potentials with your workflow automations. Delays work really good for sending confirmations, follow-up events and actions for your social media posts, your email, or really anytime you want to wait a little bit before executing an action. And today we're going to dive in and show you some new automations that are unlocked by this new feature on IFT. So let's go. We're going to be creating three different applets today that show different things that you can do with delays. Many social media sites have rules against spamming and rate limit posting. If, for example, you love retweeting your favorite messages and posts from your favorite sports teams, you might run into an issue where you're tweeting way more frequently than you want. Now, with delays, we can ensure that those accounts don't get flagged by overposting. For the first applet, I want to retweet every time my favorite combat sports blog tweets something out, but I want to put a delay in there to make sure I'm not overposting. As always, I'm going to fire up if and tap create. This is going to bring up my DIY applet flow. I'm going to tap on add and I'm going to choose my blog, Middle Easy, as my trigger service. And now I'm going to select one of the triggers. Next, I'm going to choose Twitter as my action service and select tweet a post. Now, from here, I'm going to select the plus icon in between the trigger and the action. When I do this, I'll see a new option called delay. Now, I want to click on that plus sign, and that's going to bring up the delay configuration. From here, I can select the time to delay and wait between my trigger and my actions. For this applet, I'm going to put a 10 minute delay between when I receive a notification that my blog posted something and when I retweet it. This will ensure that I don't run into any rate limiting issues. I'm going to continue, and I'm going to name this one Middle Easy Retweet, and tap finish. Now, every time my favorite blog posts something, if is going to take that information, wait 10 minutes, and then retweet that to my Twitter account. Now, delays are also really useful in helping us coordinate our busy lives. My brother coaches the local youth soccer team, and from time to time, I help him out. He gets off work earlier than I do, so he usually picks up the team and takes them to practice. But just in case, if he gets hung up at work a little bit, I always like texting him to make sure that he's not running late. So if I need to step in and cover, I can. Unfortunately, I don't always remember to send that text message. Now I don't have to have the best memory because now I can use if and delays to actually help me with this. For this applet, I'm going to wait until I get a sign-in message from the kids after school program. Now usually when this happens, my brother is about 30 minutes away from where he needs to be. And this is a really good time to send him a text message. It's at that point when I want to text him to check if he's running late to see if I need to step in. So I'm going to fire up if, tap create to fire up another DIY applet. I'm on an Android phone, so I'm going to tap Android device as my trigger service and select notifications from a specific app. The app that I'm looking for is called Procare. And the specific phrase that comes in the notification from the sign-in is sign-in. After I'm done configuring my trigger, I hit continue, and now it's time to work on the action. I'm going to select Android SMS as my action service and send an SMS. Now, I'm going to press the plus icon between the trigger and the action to configure a delay. But I'm going to put a 30-minute delay in between my trigger and my action. I'm going to name this applet Cover for a Brother and click Finish. Now, every time I get that notification from the after-school program, if is going to wait 30 minutes and then send my brother a text message asking him if he needs me to cover for him. This is around the time where it's crucial and he needs to know that. One of my favorite use cases for this is ordering one of my favorite things, pizza. My favorite pizza place allows you to order by text message. However, once you text them, they'll text you back and ask, do you really want this order? From there, you have to text them back again, a thumbs up to confirm that order. Now that's really difficult to do if all of your actions are triggering at one time because if the thumbs up comes too early, it's not going to confirm the order and you're not going to get your pizza. Well, not anymore with actions and delays on IFT. For the next applet, I'm going to go into IFT and create a new DIY applet. I'm going to select Google Assistant version 2 as my trigger service. And for the activation phrase, I'm going to say pizza protocol. 
From there, I'm gonna select Android SMS as my action service. I'm gonna configure my SMS to use my pizza plates as short code as the phone number. And then I'm going to write easy order, which is the activation phrase for the order, as the message body. Now, after the message is sent, I need to do one more thing, and that's fire a webhook. As an if pro user, I can have multiple actions in a single applet. I'm gonna select webhooks as my second action service and send a web request. From here, I'm gonna use the get method and enter the webhook URL, which you can get with your special key from the documentation page on webhook service page. I'm gonna name my applet, order my pie. Finish, and I'm done with the first part. Now, I like to think of applets like Legos. The more you have, the more cool stuff you can build. Now, you've already taken care of ordering the Lego, the pizza. The first applet and webhook threw an alley-oop in the air. Now, we're gonna use a second applet to slam it in. For my second applet, I'm gonna jump back into the DIY flow and select webhooks as my trigger. Choose receive a web request. I'm gonna enter the event name from the previous webhook that I sent in the first applet. From here, I'm gonna select Android SMS as my action service and send an SMS as an action. I'm gonna use the same phone number short code from the first app that represents my pizza places number. And then I'm going to use a thumbs up for the message in the body. This is the message that they're looking for to confirm the order. Now, once that's all done, I have to put the delay in because if I don't, it'll send that thumbs up too early and my pizza won't come. I click on the plus sign, delay, and configure 45 second delay. Now, when I'm done, I'll hit continue and name my app Confirmation Pie. This app confirms the order for me. Now, every time I tell Google to activate the pizza protocol, if will send a text message to my pizza place asking for an order. My pizza place will send me a text message back asking me to confirm the order. And my second applet will wait 45 seconds and then confirm the order for me. And in a couple of minutes, pizza delivered. So those are just some examples of a lot of the cool things you can do with delays and if. Let us know what you think, leave a comment, Check out some of our other videos we have on this channel. As always, this is Uchenna from the product team at IFT. And remember, everything works better together.